23, I'm 22. I'm Brandon, I'm 24. I'm Chris and I'm 21. I'm Cody and I'm 20. And Keith, our bassist, is 29 for a few years now. Uh, we started out as a three-piece band in 2011 with uh, Cody and Brandon and I. And then we added uh, our bass player, Keith, who's not here. Uh, what was it, like 2012? Something like October that, October yeah. or something. And then uh, Chris joined the band April last year. Yeah. So, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Good days. <laughs> our band name actually came from this uh, one time where I was at church and this lady was talking about how Moses was stuck between an army and a sea, and God got him out of it, so it's like being stuck in a rock in a hard place, so we just changed it to oceans instead of sea, and that's where we got armies and oceans. So what I really like about working with these guys is uh, the fact that we all have pretty different personalities and different styles, and it definitely adds a bit of a zest to the band, um, but just that, you know, we all, even though we have our troubles with each other sometimes, we all kind of figure how, out how to work with it and stuff, and um, everybody knows how to have fun, so it just kind of comes natural to us. Yeah, that's all it really is, it's just fun. It's like family, I mean, we got, yeah. we're all family here. So. Yeah. Well, we're cousins. So. Yeah, we're cousins. <laughs> you know, so that's like, he's like a brother. And you guys are married. Well, yeah, that is. So married, really, it's just a family thing, yeah. <laughs> except I'm the adopted child. It's fun. And yeah, dude, Keith is the adopted father. We've adopted yeah, him as our father. He is our father, <laughs> our actual father. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? What? Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I think that should be it. Yep. Uh, basically, when we write songs, it usually starts with Brandon and I. Um, either I'll write lyrics and he'll put guitar parts to it that he feels fits with the song, or he'll write a guitar part and I'll write lyrics that come to me. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It keeps it good. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're expecting to record some new music at the end of the summer and possibly a music video. Possibly. So be looking for it. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and record at least five more songs and add them to our Fingerprints EP and make it an album by the end of the summer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite band right now would have to be Mayday Parade would definitely have to be my favorite band. My favorite musician, which is kind of weird, but I really like Josh Barrow from X guitar player Paramore. Uh, my favorite band is uh, definitely Switchfoot. Yeah. So I, I can't choose because, yeah. Um, but one of my favorite bands is Mayday Parade. <laughs> Um, my my most favorite band is Bibby Clyer. Our second favorite band is Made It Parade. Um, and then of musicians, I think my favorite is David Gilmore. Second favorite is Jack White. Oh, yeah, you guys were putting me in this situation. <laughs> favorite band has to be Blessed to Fall. Yes. Definitely. Favorite musician? <laughs> uh, they're, they're ruining me. Uh, <laughs> Probably Matt Trainer of Bless the Fall as well, that drummer. He's pretty, he's pretty sexy and awesome. Yeah. And Bo, he's my second favorite. So, right on. So, my favorite tradition with us as a band is how we always go to IHOP. Um, we'll usually do it at like 2 in the morning because we're bored. Um, or we'll do it after shows. We'll go to Waffle House, Denny's, or IHOP and just kind of go and eat. Especially that one time we went to IHOP after a show and started singing Bohemian Rhapsody with the waitress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. There was people filming the yeah. table. So if you're watching this and you saw us like singing in IHOP, post it to YouTube and then let us know about it. Um, another one of our traditions kind of is whenever we go to the mall, we go to the puppy store. <laughs> yeah. We, puppy stores always good. We yeah. pet the puppies. They make me feel bad because I've never been a part of any of these traditions, <laughs> so I don't know what you're well, talking you, about. Well, you've been to IHOP with us before. Yeah, I went and to IHOP once. We invite you. And you have yeah. a baby. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah now. Yeah, his little, his favorite yeah. tradition is wiping his baby butt. Yeah, that's a little awkward. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it happens, man. I wipe my butt. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, my favorite is definitely IHOP, for sure. Yeah. It was good. Building, like, forts out of it. <laughs> Silverware. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a tough question too. Probably. Well, if I had to pick, if I could pick three. Three. Yeah. If I could, be <laughs> definitely Mayday Parade, 
Definitely bless the fall and definitely Memphis Mayfire because Matty Mullins, he's got that sexy beard going on. Amen. And he's, he's awesome. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's my three. Um, I guess since we're doing three now, <laughs> um, my three would be Mayday Parade, Tonight Alive, and Echo Smith because Echo Smith is cute. <laughs> the, the lead singer is cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared for three, so um, I would say Parachute, because I don't think there's a single song that I don't like. And he has, the lead vocalist has gorgeous eyes. It, Just <laughs> He has a really good voice. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> if I were to pick three, it would have to be Paramore, number one. I'm gonna have to say Mayday Parade because they're my favorite band right now. And mm, Our Last Night. Yeah. Mm, let's see. I do, but I don't like it. Well, the reason I like it is because when it gets hot, you get to go swimming or, you know, or go up north where it's a little bit cooler. Um, also, in the wintertime, you get to go up north and in the snow and play with my buddy Chris in the snow, not not gateway. Um, well, and well, no. <laughs> um, what else do I like about Arizona? That's it. Other than that, I'd like to move to Colorado. <laughs> well, I'm originally from Detroit, so uh, I really miss the seasons. But that's kind of why I like going up north to Flagstaff, where I go to school, um, and. I guess, so I don't really like Arizona that much, but I like that you can go up to Flagstaff and play in the snow and in the same day come back down, <laughs> and in the same day you can come back down and go swimming in the pool, because um, that's just like the weirdest feeling. I did that on Christmas one year just because I could. Um, but I mean, it's nice. There's different plants in the am aminals and stuff. Aminals? Aminals. Aminals. So I like the aminals. <laughs> Oh, yeah. about yeah. 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 Killing big elk and antelope. It's my turn. Yeah. I know, but I just wanted to say one more thing. <laughs> he raises his hand. Um, well, oh. I've lived in places where it's cold and snowy for six months, and I definitely like the fact that Arizona is not cold and snowy for six months. Unless you go up to Flagstaff, like we said a hundred times. Yeah. Right, but I'm opposite of you guys. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the What I like either. about living in Arizona is. There's no earthquakes. Very nice. No tornadoes. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can carry guns no without hurricanes. getting in trouble. No hurricanes. No hurricanes. You can't uh, carry guns. Yeah, you carry you. guns. Good thing. Um, Even though you don't carry one. What else? Um, if there's anything I dislike about Arizona, is you can get sunburned very easy. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I do dislike about Arizona, but I can't say it. So. Oh. That's about it. What's the question? Do you attend church in Utah? Okay, he's stuck. Yes, I attend church. I attend Last Day Revival Center. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, me too. Same place. Me three. Same place. Sorry, this Grandpa's guy's, church. This guy's the, the He's the uh, only one that goes to the church. So, I go to Christ Church Lutheran. Um, that's out in Phoenix. I'm not going to say where because you'll find me and hunt me down and stuff. <laughs> um, but then when I'm going to school, I go to Redemption. Well, that just kind of gave that one away because there's oh. only one Redemption up in Flagstaff, but yes. Yeah. Well, they didn't know where you went to school, so they just said Flagstaff. Until you said Flagstaff. Yeah. Um, I'd have to say a hundred duck-sized horses. Yeah. Because they'd be cool, like, little pets, you know? Hey, you're still <laughs> yeah. mine. I told oh. you that earlier. But you're fighting them. Oh, yeah, fighting yeah. them? No, then you can tame them and take them home. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, if we were fighting them, I'd just fight the one horse-sized duck. Then. Yeah. I want all the little duck-sized horses yeah. in my back. Screw it! Give them to me all! <laughs> I'll take them all on! That's it, man. I'll fight them all. So I you want... want the, I want the one big horse-sized duck, and I want all the hundred. hundred. Okay. All right. I'll freaking stomp well. on the hundred and <laughs> kill the big one with my fist. Uh, you know what, you could do that. I've saying. seen you that's break that. drumsticks. Yeah. You can do that. <laughs> you know One I'm hit means that. <laughs> so, um, that's what I want. My answer is purple, because shirts without sleeves are useless to octopuses. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. You're okay. okay. <laughs> so we'd like to thank everybody that asked us the crazy questions. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, special thanks to Brenda, 
That was awesome. Uh, Brendan, good name. Um, Vic. <laughs> Vic. Dorothy. Abby. Grandpa Jones. Mm -hmm. And Ross was probably the best question. <laughs> I love you, Ross. Yeah, you're, that was the best amazing. one. And since it's Memorial Day, I'd like to say thanks to the vets and the troops for allowing us to have freedom. Thank you very much. Thank you for God everything bless you do. God bless you. America. God bless America. And God bless, God bless hunting. <laughs> <laughs> All right.